this is annoying as hell. Is this somebody's underwear? Hello guys, my name is Doke and a while ago I recorded a video where I painted a graffiti piece on a wall with horizontal lines only. And you were like, do the same with circles only. And well, yeah, you know that I listen to your suggestions, so today we will paint with circles only. First of all, you should know that this is a raw video, which means no music and full painting experience. Is this somebody's underwear? Yeah, I guess that it is. Shoop. So today I'm allowed to do circles only. But let me do the first lines in a normal way because frankly, you know, I want I want this to look good. And it's not a coincidence that I'm at this spot with this way we wall. You know, we paint circles, so shape like this will be nice. Okay. No, it's not a snail. CB Persian blue. I almost forgot that I need to sketch the letters as well. The idea that I have for today's painting might seem a little bit weird for you but hopefully at the end it's gonna work I have to say that after first few circles I immediately feel that this is much easier than dots for example. Maybe I'm gonna change my mind during the painting but hopefully no. Alright this can is done. Time to change the color. Maybe I'll adjust this shape first because I've seen from a bigger distance that it's not really accurate. Did I already tell you that? I'm not really sure about this idea. I'm starting to freak out a little. Okay, I have to admit that my hand is starting to... I'm starting to feel a little pain. But it's nothing serious so far. It needs more color. This is getting really annoying. So I slightly changed the idea. You know these are these are the letters and they and the first idea was that they will go over each other. But right now I feel like that would be too confusing. So I'll put them a little bit more far away from each other. They won't overlay each other.
I need a fucked cup. And sorry for making these lines. I'm jumping straight to circles once again. I truly hate structured walls when you have a shape like this over here because it's just like it's just like a pain in the ass but whatever I should be happy that I have that many places to paint right all right I need this black part to be more dense because this will be a shadow and I can't afford this many um, holes so i'll just take a skinny cap okay let's say that these are circles too aren't they call it a cheating but i'm basically doing circles they don't have a perfect shape of a circle but whatever you can't even see it in that painting okay if the first circles were not a problem this is a true problem my and just uh, uh. yeah this is better this is much better some people don't really like simple letters but here is the thing sometimes it's nothing better that you can do than just the simple letters and you also might think that painting simple letters is easy, but actually it's sometimes even harder than painting a graffiti piece, a complicated graffiti piece, because you can't hide anything behind some shapes and, uh, I don't know, arrows and other elements of wild style. All right, it's time to bring in some colors. We'll start with a red color this one circle after a circle that's what we do today I don't need to make just small circles, I can also make big circles and small circles inside them, but I feel like the small circles pattern looks better. Nyeh. I'm glad that I made that shadow over there, but it's not visible enough. Yep, that's better. And the second color will be... I was thinking about yellow, because yellow goes very well with blue, but I also get orange. But I'll choose yellow. Yeah, yep. Yellowish belt and Molotov Premium. Premium. Made a little mistake over here because the shadow. Or maybe it's just too. 
Uh, this is annoying as hell. I'm glad that I did that shadow, but it's not enough at all. I need to do it basically once again. The sun is almost gone, so it will be dark in a few minutes. You know, in Europe we change time, so right now we like the darkness comes pretty soon and whatever. So I finished another experiment and during the whole length of painting I was like, mm, nah, and boom! Um, sorry for interruption. Actually, it's the other day. You know, I finish the painting, I take pictures of the final result, then I come back home. I, I've i been looking at the pictures and I was like, nah, I need to come back and finish it or change it. So here we go. I just couldn't leave it like this. I, I didn't like it. Alright, right now it's finished, like totally finished. Right now I'll show you for just a second the result, yesterday's result, and then I'll show you today's result so you can see the difference, the changes that I've done today. If you like it, thumb up as always. This is 